Nine National Football League teams passed who will regret passing on Johnny Manziel. Was I wrong? Well, ultimately, yes. But as I always say about quarterbacks, and I've been right way more times than I've been wrong. The whole thing didn't go the way it should, and it's it sucks. The one thing I will look back and say is I didn't change up for anybody. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? All sports. All sports. One day, I am predicting, Johnny Manziel will become even bigger in the city of Cleveland than his buddy and business partner, LeBron James, ever was. I got to where I didn't give it everything I had to, to everybody else. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the grind in my mind like I did to be great in college like I did in Cleveland. Yeah, I believe if he had lived up to what he could be on the field, yeah, he would have been bigger than LeBron in Cleveland if Johnny had led the Browns to a Super Bowl <sighs> bigger than LeBron. Jonathan Paul Manziel, born December 6, 1992. Is Johnny Manziel the biggest bust of all time, any sport? If you ask some of his Cleveland Brown teammates, they'll tell you that not only was he, but his tenure under center in the NFL was 100% a joke. Rewind back to 2014 and tell someone that's what the future held and 100% of the joke would have been on you. To say Johnny Manziel was the best quarterback in college his two years would have been an understatement. Not only was he the best, he was the most exciting prospect entering the NFL draft of the 2010s. He had box office written all over him as he money danced his way into being the first freshman to winning the Heisman Trophy and Davey O'Brien Award for Best Quarterback. He followed that up with an even better passing year as a sophomore as he lit up stadium after stadium with his play and personality. He was a gifted passer and runner in college, known for his big game playing ability and competitive fire. He led Texas A&M to two bowl wins in two seasons before declaring for the NFL Draft, where he became the single biggest name in the draft with potential to be a top 10 pick. Instead, he fell, fell, and fell some more before texting the Cleveland Browns himself, informing them that he wanted to quote, wreck this league together. Moved by the message, Cleveland took on the Manziel challenge and seemingly overnight, it failed miserably. You hear players all the time come into the league with great hype but fail in transitioning to the pros and fading off as another bus only remembered when documented by YouTubers. But Johnny Manziel was easily the most disappointing I can remember of recent memory. He went from on pace to having one of the greatest football careers in total of all time to an even bigger laughing stock as a Brown than the team has been for decades. If you're not sure the definition of self-inflicted, look no further than Johnny Manziel, aka Johnny Football. From the non-stop partying and getting drunk, sometimes the day before a game, so much that he'd miss the team meetings and be unresponsive in efforts to locate him. To being unprepared for games recalled by teammates, some of whom say when they'd ask Johnny if he read the playbook and strategy before the game, he'd simply say, I'm a gamer, I can just go out there and play. Of course, he learned the hard way that that's not how it works when trying to be the superstar many saw him as prior to the NFL. His career was short-lived and his off-the-field antics were largely why that was. He was built to be the perfect mix of running and throwing quarterbacks, instead he wound up being one of the Cleveland Browns' worst picks ever. What happened? Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunted Growth, let's get it! Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. Johnny Football dominated Texas high school football. He became legendary. And what happened? Yeah. Nobody wanted him. Johnny Manziel was a six-foot, highly competitive quarterback from Tyler, Texas that wasn't always a first-round draft pick talent as he entered high school. In fact, he was known as a receiver at that point, and it wouldn't be until his junior year that he solidified himself as one of the best prospects in the country at quarterback. As a full-time starter as a junior, Manziel lit up scoreboards with 2,903 passing yards, 1,544 rushing yards, 152 receiving yards, and 55 touchdowns. 
As a senior, his year was off the charts. 3,609 passing yards, 45 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions, along with 170 carries for 1,674 yards and 30 touchdowns. He was named All-Everything in Texas, including Mr. Texas Football, and was the only quarterback in the country to be a parade All-American. What followed was an outstanding college football career before deciding to go pro early and the story of the Johnny Manziel fall began. With the 22nd pick of the 2014 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Johnny Manziel. Stunt number one, he lacked the mindset of a winner. You may confuse Johnny Manziel's winning as an amateur with him having a winner's mindset, but that was all a well-timed, well-executed facade led by Johnny Manziel. When he slipped to the 22nd pick in the draft with the Browns an opportunity to draft him, he showed he could have a winner's proactive mindset by the message he sent the Browns, resulting in them being inspired to take him in the first round when word on the NFL streets was that Johnny Manziel was quote, an arrogant little prick and undraftable. Before his career could even get underway, he was fined $12,000 for flipping off Redskins players in a preseason game. Off the field, things never got much better. Manziel almost immediately became known in the nightlife scene in Cleveland and would stay out until he blacked out and overslept for a team meeting the next morning. This led to him losing the locker room's respect for failure to show he was committed to things like preparation and commitment a quarterback would need to lead an NFL team. He made his first NFL start week 15 of his rookie season, but proceeded to go 10 for 18 for 80 yards, two interceptions, sacked three times, and lost the game by 30 with a passer rating of 27.3. In his second start, he injured himself prior to halftime and was out the rest of the year. He finished with zero passing touchdowns, two interceptions, and a bunch of other disappointing stats that had Johnny Football hanging by a thread. Instead of busting his butt to prove that those teams that passed on him were wrong and that he could adjust his partying lifestyle and build on the confidence he came from college with, he embraced bus life and continued to enjoy his breakfast in the NFL. When talent doesn't work hard and commit, he'll find himself losing that talent and that's what happened to Johnny Manziel. Stunt number two, skills not translating to the pros. Another stunt in Johnny's growth that piggybacks off stunt number one is his skills not developing enough from college to the NFL. In college, Manziel was just as dangerous scrambling outside the pocket as he was a thrower. He became unstoppable after he added the confidence needed and by the end of that career, he not only had broken records and countless achievements under his belt, but a confidence that said this could either go really well and Johnny Manziel takes over a locker room and leads a team into the playoffs, or this could go really bad and the locker room does not take to the brash personality of Manziel, along with his partying and joking around so much so that it hurts the team. The latter happened and Johnny learned from day one that a target was on his back and personally I don't think he was confident enough at that point to shake the target through good play on the field. Year two he played nine games and started six of them. As good a passer Johnny was at the college level, he couldn't connect consistently even in year two in the NFL. He played better that year, but it was still obvious that him not being the biggest quarterback wasn't ideal. Him not preparing adequately for matchups wasn't expected, or simply Johnny's skill was never really made for the NFL where everything done is scrutinized. His game and personality were made for the college atmosphere where the student body supports and cheers for you no matter what. He was a big fish in a small pond, but when he got to the big sea, he didn't have what it took or even deserved to be a good player and washed out of the league because his tricks no longer worked. NFL guys are supremely talented, 
not to mention athletic. Every defensive guy wanted a piece of Johnny football, so that's how they played him. Aggressive and didn't allow him to move around the pocket as before and that affected Manziel's play to be targeted so much. But then again, had he put in the work, none of that would matter. Going to Vegas on a bye week and like doing the whole sh and like being an asshole young punk kid. Yep. Because that's what I was. I enjoyed partying more than I did fucking studying a playbook. Stunt number three, he just doesn't care. Period. I think Johnny Manziel always knew once he got to the NFL, he was going to relax and enjoy the lifestyle unless he somehow played well enough to make him feel he belonged early on. Once he saw he wasn't good enough to play at the NFL level, he just decided to soak up all the fame and NFL checks and enjoyed life. Unlike many players that use sports as an avenue financially to remove themselves and families from poverty, I don't think Johnny Menzel ever related. His parents are reportedly oil tycoons worth a lot of money, making Johnny just fine as far as ever needing to play football for survival. Evidence of this is the way he acts. Even with chances to be great with the Browns, after they learned of him partying too much and not taking things serious, he was still given a fair shot, but he never seemed to care. He continued living like football was secondary until the Browns released him March 2016 and he never really tried to make it back to the league. Instead, he searched for the small ponds he was used to dominating and has been squatting there ever since. All in all, Johnny Manziel's name in football is solidified as a bust and possibly one of the biggest of all time. He had a unique opportunity to be marketable just as he was a unicorn on the field but shot himself in the foot throughout his NFL career until everyone saw he was actually a joke. And for these reasons, his growth was stunted. It's your boy JC Stunted Growth. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know who I should do next. I'm out. I cannot predict self-destruction. Johnny just self-destructed. Seemed just fine with it. But the biggest thing is I've accepted it for what it is. I am who I am.